channel cat seems to like the, the doe baits and the stink baits pretty good. Most generally, I use something like uh, Bill's. Uh, it's a stink bait. You can use it in several different ways. You can just use it with a sponge or you can uh, put on a shrimp and then put the shrimp in the stink bait. A lot of people do that, kind of double up. Helps a little bit. The uh, Danny King punch bait's pretty good. Uh, the hog, uh, wild hog. It's it's also a, a more of a doe bait type. For channel cat, you can use a little bit of all of it. Uh, it works pretty good. Uh, a lot of people like to use the chicken liver or rabbit liver or the shad guts, something that it's got more of an odor to it. If you get away from the the channel cap in on the blues and the flatheads there <clears throat> they're more of the meat eaters they uh, they like the live bait or the cut bait uh, more along the lines of the shad guts and uh, the shad sides that you can kind of worm onto a hook for the uh, tackle mostly you'd use uh, a treble hook or a, a sponge with a treble hook in it uh, something you could dip in the stink bait or uh, if you use the dough bait, you can kind of roll it up around the treble hook. And there's on the hooks, there's different kind, different sizes. Uh, if you just like pond fishing, you'd use something like uh, maybe a a one or a two. It's small, and uh, a lot of people that like to use a single hook will use a circle hook. When you're using that circle hook, uh, a lot of times you use the the live bait or the cut bait, but with the treble hook used mostly for the doe baits or stink baits. And as far as the size of the hook, a lot of people, in my opinion, kind of overkill. They'll use a six odd or seven odd or bigger, and uh, I prefer something around a four or five. A lot of people overlook worms. Uh, worms is probably the best catfish bait there is, in my opinion. Uh, with worms you can catch about anything. Mm -hmm.